my name is Ariana Spohr and I'm in my fourth year of nursing at Queen's University. When choosing a program in university, there were a couple of things that were really important for me. So one was location. Um, in Kingston, I'm close to the water, I'm close to uh, things that I can do outside. And so yes, we are all students first and foremost, but it's really important when choosing a school that you're still able to do the things that you love to do outside of school. Something else that was really important for me was the program, of course, itself. And so it's gonna kind of depend on what program you're going into, but for nursing specifically, I was really interested in when that clinical experience starts, how they prepare you for that, and then what kind of opportunities you get within the clinical placement. Tuition was definitely something else that was really important, um, but maybe the most important for me was uh, the culture and community of Queens. So uh, coming out of high school, I really wanted to push myself out of my comfort zone and go to a school where I didn't really know anybody. And so it was really important for me to know that when I kind of landed at school, there was a really strong community of students supporting each other that I could really depend on in this really new, new place. So for teaching styles and workload and just how to manage the program, um, there are, it kind of depends on the year. So in first year, the courses are really general. So it's a good combo of science and arts and you're just in labs kind of looking at those basic skills. It's a really good kind of transition into nursing. Second year is fairly an intensive year just because there is a lot of change. So a lot of students are moving into off-campus housing, so learning how to live on their own and kind of take care of themselves and a house and things like that. And then also uh, that's the year that clinical starts. So that is a transition in and of itself where you have kind of two days committed to that for prep and then also in hospital along with the full course load. So it can definitely be um, a lot, but it's 100% doable. And looking back, it is such a rewarding year. In third year, this is a lot more nursing specific and you just get so many more opportunities for clinical experience. So every student will get to go through a maternity rotation, peds rotation, a medical surgical rotation, and then also mental health rotation. And any of those can be in hospital or in community. So you get to see a lot of different things, which is really neat about third year. You also have a bit of a smaller course, course load, so clinical can be a, um, a lot more manageable and it just feels um, like you're more in nursing this year. For fourth year, it's really exciting. You have that public health placement in the first semester and the second semester you get your consolidation, um, which is really just you being full time in the hospital and so you're working alongside your preceptor in an area of interest. So um, definitely really rewarding. And for being successful in this program, it's 100% possible. It does take a lot of passion, it does take a lot of kindness, and it does take a lot of hard work. I honestly think the best piece of advice I can give anyone going into nursing is that success will come if you are um, really open and positive, positive about all of the different opportunities that you will have while in the program. So my advice on uh, application process uh, for Queen's Nursing, I am not in any way, shape or form an expert, but just kind of thinking back to my own experience, um, there are two really main parts of that application. One is your marks. So for Queen's Nursing, it's typically, they say about like a high 80s is competitive. I know like looking back at um, the years that I know of, the trend generally is that the incoming average is a little bit higher than that. And then that second component is the personal statement of experience. So the best advice I can give to you on this one is just talking about things that you um, are really are really important to you and just basically what makes you you. Uh, looking at all of my peers in nursing, there really is not one of us that's exactly the same as another one and um, there is no mold really for a nursing student. But one thing that is kind of similar among all of us is that we are all passionate about different things. And so um, we all have a different idea of what we want to do after graduation. And I think that's part of what makes this uh, nursing class and community so special. So in that PSE, talk about what makes you you, talk about what you're passionate about and what's important to you. Um, and that will really come across in your writing. And then kind of also with that though, talk about why nursing specifically. When there are so many amazing areas of healthcare to go into, why do you want to be a nurse? 
So jobs after nursing school, um, honestly the world is your oyster. It is such a flexible degree to come out with. You can go into bedside nursing, which is really in hospital, and there's about a million different specialties you can go into. You could do public health, you could do education, you could work for a private organization, you could do travel nursing, you could do research, graduate studies, administration. Um, honestly, the opportunities are endless. So for course suggestions, um, there in the in the Queen's Nursing program, there's about five electives that you're able to take, and so with those, um, that's like comparatively not much flexibility. So take things that you're interested in. Uh, when I think back to the courses that I took, honestly, the time commitment um, wasn't a huge factor in whether I liked or didn't like the course. It really was what I was learning about. So I know I've talked about passion um, and things that you love so much so far, but I'm going to stay on this soapbox and really encourage you to just take courses that are you're interested in um, as I think that's honestly what's most valuable. So for study habits um, in nursing, uh, but honestly I think university in general is first year, try all of them, see what works for you. Uh, there's really no one thing that's going to get you through it, it's different for each of us. So I know for myself, I use whiteboards and kind of pretend that I'm teaching people content, but I have friends who only use note cards and I have friends who rewrite lectures, so honestly, whatever works for you, go for it. So for the university experience, I could honestly talk about this for ages and ages and ages. Um, I've loved my time here at Queen's and I think a huge part of that is because um, I joined in on so many different clubs and organizations. Um, and that's the biggest piece of advice I can give is join in. I've met some of my most best friends um, within those organizations and clubs and it has really been the highlight of my university career. However, being at university, um, not everyone is going to have the same experience, so the most important thing that you can do as a university student is work to make university a space that is safe and where everyone feels valued. So um, at Queen specifically, we do have a lot of work to do. Um, I really want to credit Stolen by Smith, uh, Erased by FEAS, and Consent at Queens for building the momentum and really raising voices. And um, if you do end up coming to Queens, be a part of that. For resources at Queens, there are a lot of them, and uh, there are some that are specific to your faculty. So for nursing specifically, a lot of the resources do come from upper year students. And there are some newer mental health initiatives as well, and the school is actively working to build them, just because that has been a bit of a concern for students in the past, but they are really working towards kind of building those uh, mental health specific resources for nursing students. Uh, my advice for first year in this program, uh, first and foremost, is be excited. Uh, it is such an accomplishment um, to be a part of Queen's Nursing and being excited about what you're learning and what you're doing will honestly take you so far. With that too, try and have a balance. I know you've probably heard that so many times, but um, it really is so important. You will find so much more value in what you're doing academically if you are also doing things that you enjoy outside of school. And I think like more of like a tangible kind of um, advice that I can give for you is honestly take out your phone, set a reminder for September um, that if you Google like Queen's University Google Scholar um, and then follow the links to the library, you will end up at the Google Scholar for Queen's University and you'll have access to every single article that there is. So um, do that, can't recommend it enough. I only learned it this year, huge lifesaver. Um, and then just to end off on a really great note is that um, truly truly enjoy every single moment at university wherever you end up if i could go back and do it all over again i 100 percent would in a heartbeat these really are the best years of your life and um i hope that you enjoy it and that you stay kind to yourself and do things that you um look forward to in every single day so good luck at university you'll do amazing